Hello viewers and welcome back to God of War 2 and today we're going to continue through our exploration of the Temple of Elaine, the outside perimeter. And we get to encounter one of three rock titans we have to kill. So the best way for this guy for titan mode you just have to use the blind spot I'm using, the void that um, uh, clothesline. I don't know what that turning around with both arms are in, in other turns, but anyway, for this, we just use a little Rage of the Titan to kill this guy. Just keep pummeling him with your triangle combo, and you eventually go down. Just follow the prompt, and eventually we get to stab him to finish him by stabbing him through the heart. And we get a lot of experience and some bit of health getting back. So let's break this tree and climb up the vines so we can continue onward by climbing along this rope. And we get to encounter some 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 more basic schemes along the way. Okay, first up there's two in front, one will pop out from behind, so be ready for that. If you see circle Attack to kill these guys quickly. And it's probably the best way to get rid of these guys. And just walk along the rope in order to continue. And one more guy will pop out. Just finish him off and we get to where that that soldier was, but now he's already dead. And in order to continue, we have to open this door to reveal a statue of the face. There's a healing chest that we can use to heal ourselves. And, but we'll have to continue. But this part, we have to come back here after when we get a special item to get some more health and magic upgrades. And another urn that we got, the first urn we found at, in the beginning. So what makes this special, this room special, then we get through, we, we have to get through here quickly, or we get through the stone, and it'll be easy opportunity for experience points to get the crush, with the plus, plus 15 to orb. Try to get through quickly, or you will die. And at the last one, these guys keep on respawning until you actually get rid of that wooden barricade in the way. And if you try jumping while well through the stone, you still die no matter what. So let's just break down the door. And finish off these guys as best as we can. And then we can just grapple the frost. And we can open this chest to get some health back if we wanted to. Break these statues for some experience. We have some experience. And behind the middle one we find another heavy brick that we can use. That's the heavy brick that we need to continue onward. So we just simply push the two heavy blocks that we had all the way up the back there to reveal another glowing prong for us to use. So let's just lift it and with our strength we keep on pressing that circle as quickly as we can. We finally have a way to get into the cave where that that soldier was in before he got captured by some minotaurs. And let's upgrade our Barbarian Hammer, because it's probably the most powerful sub-weapon we can use in the entire game, so it increases its damage, and to replace our dodge, we can now Soul Summon. It's probably useless, but I'm not sure. No, I'll have to think about it. So right now we can just break this, this 
this tree, these twigs, to finally get into the cave at long last. So son in the last use the summon scrolls from the barbarian camera. And these minotaurs have been turned to stone, so that means we have a gorgon in here. God of war. Jason. That beast took him. All our men are dead. Jason has the fleece. You must save him. The fleece is the key to Medusa's temple. <sighs> so now we know what's going on here, that that these soldiers are part of the part of the group that's going with Jason and the Argonauts. But unfortunately, Jason has hit an untimely end. So we can't do anything about these Medusas, but you can't kill them with the Barbarian Hammer and still do the prompt as normal. But once we're done, we will have the power to finally get rid of this problem. That we can finally give a taste of their medicine. But these Gorgons, Gorgons version 2, can now instantly turn you to stone. And they still have some magic and some experience when you kill them. So right now, we can, the only way to get to the, get to Jason is to toss this cord into this grinder. This grinder that we can get. And it'll allow us to get to where Jason is, unfortunately, up against another version of Thurber. The three-headed dog from earlier. From the from the first time when we first came here from the Temple of the Lane, so we can get another another Phoenix feather from up there, and a Gorgon bag all the way back from that grinder that we can break until now. Once you break that grinder with the corpse, we can finally destroy this and get our hands on another Gorgon bag. And so with that, we are all set to take on the Cerberus boss. No, not boss. Sort of a mini boss, really. So let's just bash through with our hammer. And I swear to god this hammer will instantly make this boss battle a lot easier. So let's open this gate. And we can now take on Cerberus. The mini boss. And now the middle one has the golden fleet. And like he said, it's the only way to get through the Temple of the Lake. Now, the Temple of Lane was the one we're in. What was that other temple? The Temple of Ox... I forgot the name. Yeah, I had no idea how to pronounce the name. So basically, let's just try to smash this guy until he gets to stage 2. And he gets... I kind of quickly made this fight look like easy, but uh, I might it could be quite hard with fireballs. Fireballs, you can ram you, you can bluff the ram, claw swipe, and when it tries to slam, the flame breath, you can block. And in stage 2, he really spams the flame breath. But once you get the second, sec the circle prime, we don't need to do anything. And this will end the mini boss quite quickly. And now we have the Golden Fleet. Probably the most powerful defense weapon in the God of War series. And now we have introduced the Golden Fleece has the power to deflect approaching weapons and thrust them back to those who deliver them. Sorry to interrupt you guys, thank you guys, but now we can now... Any projectile weapon that we came, ac came upon, like this flame statue, this flame, we can well, rock them back, right back to who delivered it. And now we have unlocked counter attack. And now we can now counter the stone gaze to finally easily kill the Gorgons much quicker, quickly. 
And it's probably my best defensive, it's probably my favorite weapon, defensive weapon in the entire series, the Golden Fleece. My god, it is broken with this when it comes to Gorgon. My god, you can instantly turn an entire swarm of enemies into stone and easily kill them. Man! Isn't that awesome? And, and, and now, because now we possess the Golden Fleece, we can get those urns that we saw earlier in this video. And now we possess the very means to, em to enter the Temple of Elaine at long last. Go so after a bit heal and save, and now we can finally approach approach the Temple of Elaine at long last. Lock, and then circle prompt as hard as you can, and BAM! We finally break the security door. And now we can enter the Temple of Lane. Next time, we'll get those, we'll get the urn of the Gorgon, and eventually enter the Temple of Lane. So until then, see you next time.